In this video, we're going to look at how to convert a piece of C code, in this case a C function, into a set of MIPS assembly instructions. So up at the top here, we have the function we're looking to convert. It's got three input arguments. It's got a loop and then an if-else statement with inside that loop. And so to start off with, the first thing that we need to do is to create a label for this function. And so we're going to give it the same name as the function itself, threshold. And then we're basically going to work through this function mostly line by line and start putting in the code in MIPS that's necessary to implement the different pieces. So starting off with the for loop, the first thing that has to happen for the for loop is i has to be set to zero. And so we're going to store i in the register s0 and we're going to set the value to zero. Once that is in place, the next thing in this for loop would be the loop condition, which is i less than size. And so given that the arguments, there are three arguments, we're going to assume that the image or IMG argument is in register A0, the size is in A1, and the threshold is in A2. And so we need to set up a label for this loop, and then we need to perform this comparison. And so we're looking to see whether I is less than size. And so for this, we're going to make use of the set on less than operation and so we're going to set a temporary value to 1 if i is less than size so if s0 is less than a1 and then based off of this we have to determine whether the loop should happen or not and so if i is less than size then that means we want the loop to continue so we don't want to exit and that would if that occurs then t0 would be set to 1 so to exit we're interested when t0 is equal to 0 so we're going to do a comparison with t0 and 0, and if they equal, that means i is not less than size, and so we're going to go to the loop end. And so we'll put in a label for the end of this overall loop. With that in place, we've handled the two immediate uh, items for the for loop we need to deal with, and so now we move inside to the if and else statements. And so starting off with the if statements, we're looking to see whether some element with an array is greater than some threshold and both the start of the array as well as the threshold are argument values. So the first thing we need to do is get the value for the ith index of the image. And so to do this, we need to compute the address for the image, which will be a combination of the base address, which is an A0 plus whatever I is. And so to do this, we're going to store in a temporary again, A0 plus the current value of I, and I is stored in S0. Once we have this, we need to load the piece of information from this index in the array. Since the image array is a character array, each one of these indices is a single byte. So we're going to do a load byte from the address we just computed, and we're going to store that value into temporary register 1. And so we now have the value of image i, and we now need to compare it to the threshold. And so in this comparison, we're interested in whether img i is greater than the threshold. MIPS doesn't have any set on greater than, so instead we can make use of a set on less than by flipping the order. So if we look at instead, if threshold is less than the image value, this is essentially the same thing. And so we're going to do a set on less than where we set another temporary value and it's basically we'll set that to be one if the threshold is less than the image. This would be the case when we want to perform the if statement. So if t2 is one, we want to perform the if statements. And if it's zero, we want to skip over it and go to the else. So again, we're going to do a branch on equals. If t2 is equal to zero, then we want to skip the if and go to the else. So we'll place our label for, in, for else in here for later. And then we want to perform, since if we're in the if case, we need to perform the actual store of 255 into the ith entry of the image. And so to do this, we need to first get the value of 255 ready, since we can't store an immediate value with a store command in MIPS. So up at the top, we're going to add another instruction to store 255 in the register S2. And then we will make use of this back after our branch to do a store byte of S2, which has 255 into the value of the ith entry in image, which is still stored in T0. 
And then once we've done this store, we're now done with the if, and we want to skip over the else. So we need to add a jump instruction, which will skip over the else instructions. And so we'll put in the jump and then a label till the end of where the else should go. And then now we get to look at the else clause. And in the else clause, we basically just want to store zero in the ith entry and image. And so this would be another store bytes. But in this case, we'll be storing zero into that entry. And so we'd have a store byte writing to the same address. And now we've taken care of the if and the else. So the last portion of this loop that we need to deal with is the increment of i. And so this will happen after the if and else is completed. And so after the else ends, we can add an add immediate, which will add one to our index value, which is stored in S0. And then finally, we want to repeat this loop. And so we'll add a jump back to the start of the loop. And so this takes care of almost every element within the C function. The last thing that we need to do would be to return the execution back to wherever it was executing after the function. And so after the loop is done, we will put in a jump register to the return address register. And that completes the translation of that's the C code into MIPS assembly.